Hey guys, so in this lesson we are graphing by making a table. There are a ton of ways and different strategies to graph a linear equation on the coordinate plane, but one of the most basic ways to ever graph any equation in any kind of form is to just make a table of values. Plug in some x values, find the y values, plot those points, connect them, and you have your graph. So I have very two very easy problems that we're going to be taking a look at where I give you an equation, I'm going to give you the x values that we're going to plug into the equation to get the y's, we'll plot the points, and then make our line. Let's take a look. Our directions say graph the equations by using substitution, which again just means to plug in for the values for the variable, to complete a table of values. So here's our first problem, y equals x plus 2, and here I have a basic table that I made for us. I plugged in I'm using the most basic x values ever, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. If you're ever unsure about what table of values to make, this is always a very easy go-to because these numbers are super friendly and we should be able to plug them into the equation with no problem and then get our results. Where we see x in the equation is where we're going to be substituting in each one of these x values individually. So the first y value that I want to calculate is when x is negative 2. So think about what would happen if I plug in negative 2 for x, negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So when x is negative 2, my y value would be equal to 0. Then I would plug in the next x value. And actually what I can do is I can drag down my circle here. And I can say now I'm going to plug in a negative 1. You get the point. So now if I plug in a negative 1 in for x, negative 1 plus 2 is positive 1. Awesome. And then I would keep doing the same thing with the next. I plug in a 0. What is 0 plus 2? It's 2. I plug in a 1 next. 1 plus 2 is 3. And the last one I plug in a positive 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. See how easy that was? Now I go ahead and I plot my points. So negative 2, 0. So my first ordered pair, negative 2 on the x, 0 on the y is right here. Negative 1, 1. So negative 1 on the x, positive 1 on the y is here. 0, 2. So 0 on the x, 2 on the y. 1, 3. So 1 on the x, 3 on the y. And then 2, 4. 2 on the x, 4 on the y. I would go ahead and connect my points together and make my, that's a terrible line. I would then go ahead and connect my points to make my line and I have my graph. That's how easy it is. Let's take a look at another one. Y equals 2X minus 1. Okay. So this would mean I have to plug in each one of these x values. I'm using the same x values just as a basic example. So wherever I see x in the function, the equation is where I'm substituting in my values. This is saying to do 2 times negative 2. So first, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And then I have to take that answer and subtract 1. Negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5. And so that would be my first ordered pair. Then I plug in negative 1, same exact idea. I would have to do 2 times negative 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. Let's plug in a 0 now. What's 2 times 0? 0. 0 minus 1? Negative 1. Now we plug in positive 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 minus 1 positive 1. And then the last one, 2 times positive 2 is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. I'm going to go ahead and plot my points. So negative 2, negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way at the bottom of my screen. Negative 1, negative 3. So negative 1, negative 3. 0, negative 1. So 0, negative 1. 1, 1, so positive 1, positive 1, and then positive 2, positive 3, positive 2, positive 3. I can then go ahead and make my line, connect them, and I have my graph.
It's as easy as that. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.